You were under arrest on suspicion of the murder weeks ago. What? Wait, please. There must be some mistake. I had nothing to do with... Oh, no. You're not going to sweet-talk your way out of this one. Your innocent schoolgirl act won't save you this time. Taking all of the facts into consideration, it is clear, beyond any shadow of a doubt, that Ryoba Aishi is responsible for deaths past weeks. No! I would never hurt anyone! I swear! I'm innocent! You have to believe me! Save it. Cuff her, boys. supposed to happen. It wasn't really meant to be like this. I was so pathetic. Accused of murder, framing, stalking. I know that everyone knows what I've truly done. Everyone in the country knows my face and my name. I've completely lost. I'll never be my senpai. There's no way he would do anything with me. It's obvious he won't ever love me for this now that he learned the truth of me like this. I will never be able to confess my love to him. I wanted our first meeting to be special, perfect, exactly like in my dreams. But now, it can never happen. He'll see me as a booger creature. He'll never see me as a cute upper class man who has a crush on him. These stupid people who saw what I was doing. At the same time, I was careless. That journalist. That spying two red hair ponytail girl. My classmate. They absolutely ruined everything. Why couldn't they just shut up about me? They're goddamn traitors, Saitasaki. I should have killed her at the first place. I shouldn't have befriended her. I did what she needed, and this is how I get repaid. Tunisu, why can't that girl just mind her own damn business instead of spending her time spying on me? Me to see 
him he has managed to look himself as a hero. He made me look like a villain. Even everyone praised him for finding the culprit. Senpai, then no one can. No wonder if my classmate is back into his love life. I know she realized I tripped her. There's no doubt those girls I made them suffer for trying to take him away from me are back at Academy now that they know I was truly the main cause of this mess. There's no doubt that everyone in Academy have completely hated me now for seeing the real truth of me. you people. I'm going to make sure it won't last. Because soon, I'll be there to take your life. In order to gain my revenge, I perform a demonic ritual where I can seek strength. It required me to sacrifice anyone in order to get what I need from them. I had no problems doing that as means to get the power strength I need to dispose everyone. If this power I have now, I'll kill everyone in my sight. I will never take anyone alive. They all will die at my hands. My own primary objective right now is I'm going to Academy and rip everyone who all turned on me into shreds. <laughs> Senpai, Saitosaki, the journalist, Junasu, I will make sure your life will end today. You can escape from me. It is pointless to resist. You won't be all living a peaceful life for long. There's nothing I want more to rip your bodies apart like a meat. My reputation doesn't matter anymore. What matters now is I will kill those people who witness my actions and all of people in the country who see me as a monster. <laughs> Soon the Japan will be like a living hell. I can no longer hear my own voice. I don't see myself as a human anymore. But it doesn't matter.
Watching your sleep gave me a chill in my spine. <laughs> Ryobachan? You slept here for long hours since 3 p.m. earlier, Saitazami. <laughs> so, Saitazaki, I have something to ask you. It was you the witness for what I did to those bastards back at the bedroom in that day, huh? Isn't that correct, Kuro? 
No, no, no. Don't tell me. Yes, I could tell it's true at all. Hearing the news you are one of the witnesses of my crimes. Maybe if I had noticed you back then, I would have silenced you. Yet, you even got sent by back in your love life. You ruined my chance to be with him, Saisaki. Now I'm going to make you suffer for that. <laughs> now don't even think about trying to escape from me, girl. Oh, and Saisaki. Do you know what happened to everyone in academia earlier? Well, let me tell you about it. Now let's just say, I killed everyone by ripping all of them like a piece of meat. Everyone in our school decided to get killed. They were all naughty that I had to give them a nice punishment. So badly. <laughs> I took care of everyone in our school, Sakisaki. Actually, there are still some of them remaining that I have yet to dispose of, but they won't be alive for any longer. Yes, that's right. They're waiting for me at the other room right now. And as for you for the cause of exposure of my crimes to public. You are going to face the severe consequences from me, Saitisaki. Now what should I do with you? Should I slit your throat? Should I cut your tongue? Should I rip your head from your body? Or how about maybe I should go kill the others first? Ha <laughs> ha I must apologize. It seems like I'm making them waiting for me forever. So I should go deal with them right now. And once I'm done with them, you're next. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill them now.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Down Police Department. I started his career since 1987. Well, I guess that means I've been in this job thing in the PTBD for three years. Because I'm a police, I was called Officer Otto. I guess it's just the uh, perfect way how you call the person's name as the police officer. So, I just wanted to talk something out. Today, Something concerned me and bothered me a bit. Something just happened recently. I just want to get this off my guts. I just don't want to let myself think too much about it. No, not that I am in trouble. No, I haven't done anything wrong. No, I wasn't having any problem. Trust me. I'm doing fine right now. It was last Friday and Saturday last week. Just before this week. It's about the girl named Yoba Aishi. She's the former student of academy who just got permanently expelled for committing murder, training, and for constantly stalking on an upper class man. Her expulsion was officially confirmed by the headmaster by the time she finally faced her imprisonment. It was on Friday. He took her into custody. Her arrest took place in front of the confession tree of academy. It was right before she could meet up with that boy at the tree. But she was stopped by this man, Mr. Journalist, who was with us during her arrest. The rest of the academy staff was by at our side, as well who looked at her in serious anger. For the past 11 weeks, it was when the journalist saw this girl stalking the boy almost everywhere in academy. But more than that, she was also stalking any girl that spoke to him. So then, he decided to keep an eye on her because there's something being seen right of her. In each week, there has always been one girl that had interest in him. But starting on the second week, this was when the journalist began to observe a disturbing behavior from Aishi. That was while he was in the studio around. We frequently saw her running with a mop in a bucket as though she always had some sort of nest of clean up. Every girl that shows interest in this boy, something bad always happens to them. We kept tabs on what happened to those girls. Some became victims of bullying majorly, one committed suicide, and one died due to being poisoned. But some other girls somehow remained unharmed. For at least. The journalist suspected she was using manipulation, intimidation, and sometimes even violence to sabotage the boy's love life. It could mean that those girls who look like they're still doing fine that spoke to the boy lately were manipulated into telling them to stay away from that boy. Secondly, she must have put them into her debt in order to make them do her a favor. In this case, it should be clear that it was because she was in love with that boy. With the obsessive dream, he doesn't want any girl to take him from her. There was a girl who seemed very suspicious of Aishi. So, the journalist approached her and interviewed her. She identified herself as Hui Tunis. From what that girl said, she caught her holding emetic poison for rats while suddenly overheard her gossiping around with the students about a girl 
caught her cleaning when it's not even cleaning time. She caught her stalking every one girl. This thing. They're absolutely very suspicious and it increases the possibility that she is the culprit. And even on the 10th date, there's also this girl who happened to witness something disturbing at the third floor bathroom. As it turns out, uh, it was Aishi. She got into a fight with five students there. Apparently, it was the female delinquent. But the unfortunate bad thing is she also uh, killed them. She never even showed mercy to any of them. She kept punching their faces that made them bruises from her. She beat them to death and even hit their bodies. But it was because this delinquent tried to beat out of her but the girl truly proved herself to be powerful than them. The girl who witnessed this was Samaria Saitiglan. It turns out it was the same first girl that had a crush on the boy until she was manipulated to stay away from him. When she just entered this bathroom, she overheard the argument between them. According to Saito Saki, he said that the delinquents were calling Aisha out for responding their territory. But unfortunately for Aisha, the students seemed to get easily pissed off and that they wouldn't just take easy for her. She tried to apologize to them but they didn't want it. They kept pushing her, then calling her, until Aisha eventually lost her temper for this that made her feel them brutally. Like a person that you're not to ever mess with them. After I should kill them, the Zaki was absolutely horrified. She was afraid to see what she did and finally walked out the bathroom. It was the right thing to do that she reported this to the crowd. I can imagine it surprised them to hear this from her. Even this information as well attracted the journalist's attention. Now that was enough to believe her to be the actual culprit behind the incident. <sighs> to think a schoolgirl would actually commit murder just to keep a boy single like this? I would hate to believe that, but the evidence is clearly in front of my eyes. There was never anything else to take away the fact that she murdered some people in Akadeh. It was just impossible to believe this innocent at this point. This point is were enough for us to take action against Yoba Aishi. At the time we were about to take the girl in custody, all of the faculty staff and other students of academy were in front of the school gate when we arrived. The staff made the students aware that there is a culprit in their school was finally found and was about to get arrested. The staff already knew we were here to perform an arrest. So, they led us to the confession tree where one of the teachers saw a girl. They was about to meet the, with the boy, Sitarilla. Once we reached to her location, I see stared at us in shock. She desperately tried to evade our arrest. She desperately tried to defend herself by making such excuses that she's never done anything wrong. But the counselor was furious at her that she aggressively brushed her off. All of them found her actions absolutely very unacceptable to them in the school. Even the staff were leaving her with Dexter. It was horrifying the girl.
Die. 